I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, they just closed. Oh dear. There's a discounted lunch at Braylawn. So we're traveling 250 kilometers in the car and 100 kilometers in the sled to get there for a cheap lunch with Brits. See you up there. Just keep going up. Just keep pulling up a little further. Right, just there. Yes, you can, you can see it if you look under the right left wheel. It needs to be crossed over. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Let's, let's do that then. All right, you're good to go. We're a quarter way of getting our cheap lunch. Let's get some breakfast. Oh, there it is with the diesel. Oh, there it is. Yes. So which one are you having, Helen? Bacon. I'm having the bacon. Helen's been waiting all year for this. So Matt's diesel has Toyota headlights, which I think is awesome. So Matt said we look like the Power Rangers. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it does look good, doesn't it? New jelly. Okay, we're in Pemberton now, so we're going to take the left uh, all the way down to the Hurley Road. We've just come off the road and uh, this is the Lillooet Fire Service Road. Coming along the uh, perfectly maintained forest service road. After 8K, finally we're here. Okay, good. Now we've got to figure out where we can park. <laughs> Thirty, and we're about to head off on our thirty k. Ah, reading about the goats. Oh, about the goats. Yeah. Tell us about the goats. Stay away from oh, really? Yeah. The, dangerous goats. All right, we've got three Jerry's. One, two, three, and we're off. So I don't know what I'm gonna really film because a lot of this is. Uh, just kind of fire road. To the left there, that's how you get to Keyhole Hot Springs. You go about 30k down there, you can see, you can just jump over the gate. And what I've said to the guys is we're gonna aim to be going 60k. That's quite a, sort of a bit above the trail speed you should go. You shouldn't really do about 50 with these tracks, but the snow is slightly loose. Um, and if we keep this pace, we'll be there in 30 minutes. If we're not there by 1.30 an hour, I'm gonna turn around. Um, but this is gonna be the hardest bit, this climb. I think we'll go on the outside for this. Oh God, I thought this would be better. got better the uh, the road but it's still quite bumpy and uh, we've done I think 4k yeah 4k and we got to get to about 40 Ooh. and we come all the way from down there so, and I'm really hoping we start to smooth out Sorry, Raj. <laughs> I just forget how. <laughs> I don't know. I'm fine. Are you okay? Yeah. Do you, we can do side by side, or you can drive Helen's. No, keep going. I, don't, like, I just want to get it done. Like, 
Okay. I hate it so much. Really puking now. We're just past 11k. I don't think the GoPro is going to last very long. <sighs> Naturally, I love to jump in the snow, but we've got places to be and gas to save. Good. Good. It is puking. It's going to get easier from here. It will flatten out. This is what we like, nice and boring. We're sitting in someone else's tracks, We're just holding the accelerator. Up here to the left over there, that's face. If you want to go to face mountain, you go through those. Oh, this is great. This is real progress. Constant speed, not stopping. Ah, the people. Braylon. And then the right. Okay, on we go. Okay, 23, that says. Uh, what have we done? I can't read the uh, KMs at the moment. It says water everywhere. There's a river. Well, they said there'd be signs, so we've done 27. Guessing by those signs and numbers, we have 19 kilometers to go, and we have done 32 kilometers in track. 118. Okay, so in 50 minutes, we've done 32. That's good, it's good pace. This is very obviously the turning Lodge and Spa, Rog. Do you fancy a spa? I bet you do. Bridge with the valley. May I not have a quick look? So we're here, got to get to there. Most of the way. We're, uh, we're here. So that left goes up there. We're going to take the right. We're at the big signs. Go right. This has been the thinnest snow, so open to the sun. <sighs> Avalanche path for sure, Jesus. I ain't stopping there. We have done uh, 42 kilometers. Funny, isn't it? Oh, okay. Wasn't expecting it up. That's a good sign. Some sort of industry down there. Can't quite figure it out. So we see some lake reservoir. Battery died because the uh, rear battery pack wasn't connected. The mic was wet. It's really hard to film this stuff, but I would quite like to get us just coming into town for your viewing pleasure. That is a lot of industry right there. Can you imagine being in that port cabin? Oh my goodness. Okay. Not what 
what I hope for. I guess we're going up. Sorry, sled. Sorry, sled. Sorry, sled. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sled. I'm sorry, sled. No. I need some new carbides. The snowmobilers. And here we are! Yes! The pub! There it is! You gotta park by making unnecessary noise. Yes! <laughs> You know how, like, modified uh, car meets. <laughs> it's like South Park. <laughs> God, listen to those guys. That's those lot who went past us. Oh, they just closed. <laughs> if you need anything, oh, have you re? Are you closed? Um, no, no, I was just closing up the street way. Okay. We're just the store, not the pub. Oh. How do we get to the pub? Oh, the door right across. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Ooh, thank you. Really good, wasn't it? Look at this. I'll get the normal camera out. So we're set up with all our stuff drying. There's the bar. What's on the menu? Hey everybody, can I get you some drinks to start? Yeah, I mean, great. Okay, do you want a Stella or a Moosehead or? Yeah, Moose would be great. Moosehead? Yeah. Excellent. So this is something I want to do. This is Lone Goat. We're here, you come down and it's that mountain. Apparently you get into it from here. So that'd be a, a cool little trip. So we've come from down here, gone that way, but you go in here. How do you rate the veggie burger? Seven. What's that like? None. It is good actually. What one do you like? I <laughs> what could go wrong? Yeah. Thank you very much. That's great. Yeah, you're on. We will see you again. Thank you, Sally. Bye bye. Bye bye. My dog. So that is, there's so many dogs here. Whose dog are you? Used to have 10,000 people and it's a big golden mine, mining town. How many people does it have now? It has a population of 60. Oh wow. See, uh, I paid and she, she said, thank you for spending some money. <laughs> I hope you gave her a big tip. I gave her 20%. Yeah, good. I always think when you go to these places, like you need to buy, get a couple of drinks, even though I didn't want one, yeah. uh, you know, get a t-shirt and then leave a tip and it just keeps it going and it's a nice trip. It's all right, Matt, we'll buy you lunch anytime. Thank you, that was lovely. No worries. I was just <laughs> go and have a look at the village and then turn around. So, 
Oh God, not here. All right, we're gonna just go up the road and see what a population of 60 people, which was 10,000 looks like. And uh, for sale. Well, they're quite cute. Loin Pioneer Mines. What's that over there? Life Underground. That's a museum. Someone's living there. Nice snowmobile. Got to appreciate it. Wow. That needs a paint. And uh, the hotel. Well, there's your hotel. So, one of the women who was in the pub, she owns it. Oh, right. Really quite nice. And that's where you buy it. One of the places where you can buy fuel. It, it's the best building in town, naturally, being a hotel. Another lodge further up, I think. That's so good. Do you think what you said? Quite nice. Okay. It's a, let's go up there and then turn around and then go. Raylon Hall. You can actually drive snowmobiles on the road if you're registered. And I've registered in a short to the max, so just for those YouTube trolls. Okay. Looks very off gridy. I just want to pop down there to that church, then turn around. Oh, that's quite pretty. Wow. This is like real Canada to me. These little logging towns and mining towns. I don't know if that's a soccer pitch or base baseball probably. There's all the stuff they use for mining. So I guess if you want to stay somewhere nice, there's, that ah, looks all right, doesn't it? And that is the end of the town. <laughs> no, it belongs to Bill here. Oh, right on. It's absolutely sweet. Yeah. yeah. We went up Sunshine last night. It was just fun. <laughs> Rog would go nuts. Oh, I bet it gets everywhere. It's got the same tracks. Put a heated box in the back. 40, about 48, 49. Okay, not 41. But if you want to do what we're doing, 50k each way, loosely, 100k. Fuel is looking really good. I'm trying to keep the camera clean, but it is wet. Sorry, Sled. Have you, Spud Man, have you heard of this? Some guy in the UK who makes, sells um, spuds, baked potatoes with stuff in, puts it on TikTok and has, you know, lines all day long now because people travel across the country to get a spud potato. Ah, Spud Man. Well, nothing. It's on, t it's on TikTok. That's probably the only thing different. 
is yeah like beans chili or cheese you know it's like oh it's five pounds but i don't know if that's good but people go there and like oh can i be on your tiktok but that's a day out in the uk i guess i don't know i think this is a better day out just a little well that is our trip to Bray Lawn, the mining town done and kind of do go and support them if you're a sledder like it's just for a day like today it's such a good day out you know you're not doing too much it's too risky it's windy and it was easy to get here 48k barely use any fuel because the roads are like this and uh yeah, they really appreciated our support. And it's, I just appreciate them being at the end. That might be the end of this video because I think it's going to be a bit boring watching us go back. Um, so I might do a few clips, but we have a long way to go now. Right, Raj, hold on. We're going to go fast. Yes. Was that Raj? Yeah, that was the best time you ever had and you want to go faster? So nice and smooth. Make a jerry. Right. The, oh, Mel's getting on well. Oh. <laughs> Ow. That is one happy Mel. <laughs> Never been happier. <laughs> All right, go on then. Don't like it. 96k is which is bang on 48 each way amazing oh Mel cannot wait to get off oh dear oh dear 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 That's what a trip to Preloin looks like. 96k, good food. And if you're doubling, you're gonna look like that. Oh, Mel. Oh, dear. What would be really unfortunate is if you had to work at a brewery tomorrow for six hours. <laughs> oh, dear. That is what it looks like to travel 350 kilometers for lunch. A bit better than Spudman, I'd say. Uh, I guess thing, things to know, it's 48 kilometers each way. If you're going at it and you're not really stopping, we went quite quickly in a small group. Um, we got there in an hour and a half. We spent an hour-ish there having lunch and then looking around the town and then an hour and a half back, so. <clears throat> you know four four and a half hours five hours round trip uh, I think we did the timing pretty well we could have gone a little earlier I guess so probably set off at 11 if you're going to do that and then I put some if I remember I put some links below as to things you need to check you need to check if it's been groomed uh, I can't remember the Facebook site but I put there and then you need to make sure that it's open it's open at the moment Saturday Sunday noon till midnight and then on Thursday and Fridays it's open I think after 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. 5 p.m. 
Um, so obviously make sure it's open because uh, otherwise you're going a long way for nothing. Literally 30k and then there'd be all this signage, take the right, do not take the left because that will take you to Golden something, Golden Bridge or Gold Bridge and that would be a really long way round. I'm not sure I live there though, 60 people. The village gossip would be insane wouldn't it? You couldn't avoid anyone. Alright, that's it. See you on the next one. For those interested, 96k on trail has got me 20 litres of fuel, which is pretty good, 100 litres. It's a litre for every 5k. In the NA with one person on it, 16 litres.